Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. This is the final video of this series. We're going to wrap it up today. And we left off in the last video doing our spot correction where we went around the car seeking out the worst of the scratches and took care of those small areas with a rather aggressive compound 3D AAT. Now we put that stuff away. We grabbed the Boss 21 millimeter throw and we have our Eurofiber 5050 pad. We're going to team that up with the Turtle Wax One and Done. And we're going to go around the car and do the entire vehicle from top to bottom with this combination and finish up our correction. Now, with Turtle Wax One and Done and Faultless Cut or 3D1 or Sonax Perfect Finish, you need to surround yourself with a bunch of pads and you could do a couple test areas to find which pad teams up with that polish or that one step to get around the car once doing both the cutting and the finishing process without having to do another round slapping another pad on the polisher and just using up another hour and a half two hours uh, to finish up and bring out the the best clarity before laying down protection it takes a little bit of getting used to. I was going to take a time out here in a video and uh, get a test panel out and, and show you the best way to do that. But I'll designate that to um, a video on its own because that could probably take 10, 15 minutes to, to show you um, how to do that on hard, medium, and soft clear coat. And that just takes a little bit of practice. After a while, you'll be able to walk up to a car and um, be just about down to two pads, maybe two, three pads that you would have to do a test area uh, for and get that right combination, just right where you get the perfect amount of cut, the perfect amount of finish where you can get around the car in one trip, keep the overhead down by cutting your time down and laying down the protection and moving on. And that's exactly what we have found as I bring you in close to see we have been able to cut out those defects, shave those defects down, yet we have a finish that there's no um, haziness, there's no cloudiness, there's nice deep reflection and clarity, and we can move on to the next panel without having to swap out pads and go back over it yet again. Okay, let's put some numbers behind what we're seeing here between the first and second step. And we're already above the mid-90s, so let me continue get around this vehicle. With the larger panels now complete, it's already starting to look incredible. I'm getting excited to see the finished results, so let's finish up the smaller areas. Uh, we get out the rotary attachment for these tight areas back in the taillights in and around the door handles and other places. Then we'll jump to the 3-inch polisher for the waterfall here and then grab the 2-inch polisher for the front lip. So we have just about all of the tools out today. The correction is complete. Time to go around the car with a panel prep and remove any polish residue that was left over. Now 
and just thought I would share for what it's worth. With all of the panel preps I have tried over the years, I keep coming back to Gion Prep. Uh, just the overall friendliness to clear coats and the, the scent and just the ease of use. Okay, moving right along, paint chip repair. And you guys, keep it simple. You could really go down the rabbit hole with this one and uh, get a lot of time into these. But this particular package, we're going to get those filled in uh, rather promptly in a timely manner. And using a little common sense, um, you know, to do them right, you really need a couple days to fill them in with the OEM, um, you know, perfect match paint. And then let them cure for a couple days so when you start working on them and wet sanding them, they don't pull back out from the chip itself. So just keep it simple. Fill them in, protect, and move on. And speaking of protection, everything when it comes to protection and finish on this vehicle is going to be Fireball. And um, just a uh, heads up, Fireball is getting set up here in the States. And I'll do a video when they are completely set up. Uh, so you get an idea of how to obtain their products. I have not used a Fireball product that I did not like so far. Uh, just thought I would share that with you. What you do with that information is completely up to you. So we're using the coating here. We're going to get that applied. Let's get going. We're going to go back into the engine compartment, take care of any painted surfaces and the carbon fiber underlay under the hood here. Here at Apex Detail, all painted surfaces under the hood, in the trunk, door jam area, wherever we find painted surfaces, they get corrected and protected. You'd be surprised how many detailing companies out there uh, neglect those areas for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, the coating is now on the vehicle. All layers are uh, laid down on this beautiful finish, and we just let it cure and move on and do our uh, finishing projects and get this car ready to be sent home. Windows are next. And the fireball tire coating for the cherry on top. And I don't want to leave this out because this normally happens right before it either gets shipped back to the customer or the customer picks it up within 24 to 48 hours. And that is a quick topper. And that stays within the family. The fireballs topper, uh, they call it a coating wax. Um, some of the um, language is lost in translation. But all it is really is a less concentrated version of the coating we just applied. And that will be a breathable sacrificial layer to the coating as it cures for the next 10 to 14 days. And that's all there is to it. I like to pull it outside, check for high spots, enjoy the finish outside under my worst critic, of course, sunlight. But it's a little overcast today, and that's actually the best time to look for high spots during an overcast, cloudy day. Um, I was hopeful to get some customer reaction when he comes to either pick it up, but last time I spoke to him, he was thinking about an enclosed trailer to ship it back home. We are in Pennsylvania, and the car's from Virginia, so we'll see how that goes. Our goal is the vehicle always rolling out the doors with triple digits on the gloss meter. Let's see what we have here. And that's going to do it for this video and the series as a whole. I hope you guys picked up some useful nuggets of information. I'd like to thank Joe, the owner, for the opportunity to work in this gorgeous beast and uh, there will be more of these vlogs i will share with you brian from apex detail catch you in the next video